Vader Immortal is a game. Well, no, it's free games. Experiences? Never mind. The point is, they are fun, engaging little romps through different aspects of a story set on Mustafar, and I for one enjoyed my time with them. Hi, by the way, I'm Lynn. If you didn't guess, I'm the host for whatever this is. A review, I suppose. Vader Immortal is about three hours of impressive set pieces and interaction with the world around you. A little janky in places, but hey, the other stuff is janky unless you're Valve and have 80 people working on a title and can't erase all the jank. Janky for the word, God, this is off to a start. Anyway, you play as a smuggler as far as I can tell. You're just a pair of floating hands, but that's what the robot companion informs me that I am. Great! Gonna smuggle some illicit substances? Nope. Pull straight down into Imperial space of the Mustafar and towards a very impressive looking monolith. One thing you do get in VR is an impressive sense of scale. Vader Immortal really starts to show it off early, with overhead shots of TIE fighters and Star Destroyers, to the aforementioned monument, to an impressive slightly buggy boss fight in the second half that I won't spoil. Vader Immortal puts you in the face of a big helmeted bloke as soon as feasibly possible, imposing and rather dashing if I do say so, you feel compelled to do whatever the game tells you to do next, just to see what set piece or inciting element you'll unlock next. Every episode has a theme. The first focuses on your lightsabers, the second on your force pulls, pushes and all in between, and the third, well, I haven't actually played the third yet at the time of writing, so let's assume it's some kind of jester based RTS. There's an array of activities in the game, from climbing to fighting to throwing and retrieving your lightsaber like your magic space fall, with the lightsaber dojos offering a wide array of replayability, with about 50 waves in each, and each holding a high score to beat, and unlockable goodies in the process, it's a fun level of distraction if you're into Star Wars. On top of this, there are several moments in the game which are greeted with beautifully animated sequences and unfold all around you, these are few and far between, happening typically once an episode around a midpoint. Vader Immortal is, firstly, a fun little game, or games, you can pick them up out of order if one appeals to you more than the other, don't expect any open-endedness however, the games are very linear, they expect to be thrust into set pieces that are really challenged in any way through the story, if you were looking for challenging lightsaber and force content, the dojo is the place to go.